Sup, people of the internet that have good taste. It's another Saturday, and it's another Persona 5 Royale game. Hope everyone's doing good. And... And yes, something's gone wrong. <laughs> uh, just a heads up to everyone. Internet's been a bit weird in my area. Like, it's cut out twice. Uh, it's something to do with them, uh, with the provider, so I can't really do much. But if stuff cuts out, or if the stream just collapses, you all know why. And I'm waiting for my test thing to come up. Uh, if you're in chat, let me know. I could just have chat tell me if the sound's good or not, but I would like my test page to come up, because it's what I use for chat as well. Oh, this isn't good. Oh no, this isn't good. Uh... Okay, internet looks fine. Why are you not uh, being nice? Okay, there we go. I think it's all good now. I should put you down and on mute. Alright, let's go to game and see how it sounds. Uh, Alright, so heads up. Uh, this is just as much for you guys as it will be for the YouTube. I have been demonetized because Atlas have found my... So somehow Atlas have found my YouTube channel before more than 30 people have. Which is kind of depressing. So I'm going to have to modify either the way I stream this or modify the way I upload the YouTube. I'm obviously going to... So I'm not in any trouble, so nothing was done uh, big, but I obviously want to make sure I can stream this safely. I don't want to stop this. I want to keep playing the game. So, I'll probably be saying this for the next while, just giving people a heads up, either through the stream or at the start of each stream. Um, but yeah, so you're going to see some changes to the way I upload. You're going to see some changes to the either length I stream. I just want to make sure I'm not told to, no, you can't do this anymore. Stop doing it. I have to click yes because I want the the support thing for that being said I'm now officially a persona character so good news I guess silver lining silver lining so if the also if the sound is a little low I'm obviously trying to keep the um, game sound audio a little bit lower because I don't want to get flagged for that either That's a bit too low, though. That's a bit good. Yes, I want this. Ooh, the updates already. Didn't we already go out with you, like, two minutes, like, a little bit ago? We, we, we already went out with her a while back, didn't we? Like, I think it was literally last... Dream. Huh. Uh, either way, well, why am I not in full screen like a smart person? There we go. And turn on the sound for myself. I said it's going. I enhanced the medicine again. I think it'll help make real progress, whatnot. Well, what do you say? Do you want to test it out? Uh, I'm going to skip this. I think I want to do the work. chance yeah let's go to work
Welcome. Keeping your keeping your cool this summer. Smooth soba is now on sale. What do you want to do? Let's do. Well, no, 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 no. What do you want to do? Yes. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, name's name stick, but you know God works. Okay, I gotta actually read this, because I didn't realize this would be on the test last time. There's no end to these customers. Just keep your cool and don't forget to smile. Those are ink crunchies. There's a barcode on the right side of the cover. Right side of the cover. That's the cow milk in the store's original brand. Right side of the cover, right. There's a right next to the company logo. Company logo, right side of the... The sudden rush of customers as soon as uh, Shibuya Sensei goes on break. Let's just focus on finding the barcode. Kalman car, where do we find the barcode again? Near the company logo, yep. Yeah. There it is, let's scan it. A rich, thirst quenching milk, huh? Does the milk make you thirstier though? Wait, does it? Wait, hold on, does milk make you thirstier? Right, that was some perfect barcode slaying. Call me the barcode slayer. You did great. Good work today. It's like, oh, we need extra shifts because it's a rush day. I'm gonna go away now. <laughs> My planet needs me. I don't need your gratification, cat. Also, I learnt, and I hope this is an incorrect, I can't screw up getting to the max level with the cat. Therefore, I can be a smartass all I want. Oh, are we head to is that a new one? Nice. Done great dealing with customers today. I'm sure you can look forward to your pay. Do we have to change? I kind of like that shirt. I wish. Oh, if they had the Seven Seven shirt for all the characters uh, as costumes, back. I would do an entire uh, palace with that or whatever they're called. I'm gonna go eat a burger. Burger does bravery. Do I have to return the uh, DVD or have a. I'll check it at home. Should have checked it before doing this, but eh. Because, yeah, I want to see how. I, I don't want to judge the game until I find out 100% how bad it is. Um. Yes! We need guts to beat the challenge, so we have to get guts by taking the challenge. It's the, um, eat the door with the keep on the other side trick. I don't know why my brain went there. <laughs> yeah, you gotta eat the door to get the key to the door from the other side. That's what this challenge is. Objective Prince. So, have a guess how many shiny Swablu are caught in Godrint. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I mean, I was in the middle of a tournament. Uh, if you're anything like me, around seven. Well then, it's time to get the thir the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go! Wait, there's a set in there. There's meant to be a set in there. Four? Oh, okay. That's actually pretty decent. I usually want my set to have the one evolve and one normal. So I'm not too fast. Oh, man. Yeah, I need guts, knowledge, proficiency. My enthusiasm in the face of adversity, though. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. Uh, I'm full of, I'm full just from watching you. I hope we can take the leftovers back. Not enough candy for any to evolve. Yeah, um, Swablu's one of the hard ones. Swablu's the magic carp of the third gen. Third gen. Third gen. Yeah. Second, fourth gen had Waylord. What was 2nd gen's 500 candy you won? I heard there's a forum about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, I've seen him on TV. He's famous, but he still rides the train like everyone else. Isn't that that detective there? The Phantom Thieves are cool, I get, huh? Are kinda cool, huh? 
It's third gen, yes. What's this? I'm trying to remember what the second gen 500 candy one was. What do you think about that? Hey, Colin Cart sent to Madarame exhibit. Do you think? I was wondering about. Yeah, that. I kind of. I I think it's like one of. The, yeah, I can't. Ugh. Yeah, I think it's just like the one sent to Kamishida. People online are saying the Phantom Thieves are behind this. That's cool. There's a lot of fan sites with a bunch of requests based on it. <laughs> Can't so believe cool. there are real life superheroes. If it happens twice, I'll probably go to, going to happen again. Can't wait to see who's next. I'm assuming that they're, they're twins because they look almost identical to me, so I tried to do them the same. Oh, yes. Wait, are you a teacher now, or are you just the counselor? I'm kind of confused. Sounds like a lot of people are going to be on that trip to the studio tomorrow. Do you guys get to see the show too? I wouldn't mind seeing that. I like talk talk shows. Oh, and variety shows. I wonder if they'll talk about the Phantom Thieves. They're certainly getting plenty of attention on TV and the internet. Hmm. Though I'm a little worried about what might happen if the media gets people too riled up. Oh, that reminds me. Have you guys covered the totalitarianism? Totalitarian. I know the word. I know how to say the word. Totalitarianism. Yet, it's a government structure that unites its people under a single ideology and authoritarian control of the masses. In theory, it brings the people together under one ideal. That definitely comes with a logistical benefit. But it also means forcing ideas on people, assimilating the unwilling. And that's how war gets started. And that's how wars get started. How about you? Alright, stick on. Here's a question. Uh, what? Who? Huh? Where does totalitarianism take things a step further than authoritarianism? Uh. Holy crap, I don't actually know this. Authoritarianism is the one under one dictator, isn't it? Wait, I... No, I feel all of these... I think this is the one. It's using subliminal messaging where authoritarianism uses force. I think. You know what? I'm willing to... Okay, cool. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Yeah. Well, I like to pick first before I go to the network. I like to give it a good think through. I'm like, yeah, it's uh, authoritarianism uses force or totalitarianism uses uh, subliminal messaging and sort of mind control tactics. Whoa, I'm surprised you knew that. I'm surprised I knew that too. Like, it took me a while, but I got there. Yes, a totalitarianism government tries to control the, cult the culture, morals, and even thoughts of its people to minimize dissidents. They try to assimilate everyone into one ideology. Even reading the room can be uh, e even reading the room can be seen as a form of personal assimilation. You all do that too, right? I try, to, I try to, though I'm not great at it. You're a psy. I'm bad at reading people. I'm a psychiatrist. It's not a bad skill to have. It can even help you survive the modern world. But you can't do it too much. If you make an echo chamber, then the people whose opinions differ might get hurt. Whoa, he actually knew that. Maybe we should- oh, God, this is gonna be repeated. Nice going. I don't care about you either. So... I'd like to remind you all to keep a strong sense of self and an open mind, so we can disagree and still live in harmony. I guess class is almost over, that's it for today. So you are a teacher! Mm. Strong sense of- We need to make sure we don't lose sight of what we believe in too. Yeah, you believe in penis, I get it. Just just shush cat. Really? It's only adorable because they're a cat and even then it's not even adorable. Was trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? Because the chance to pull is a piece of shit? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashida, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki san. Huh? I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. Well, yes. That's kind of obvious. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. Yep. That's the worst. So that's what he's using Mijibe Senpai for? <laughs> Wait, we have requests to do as well. Oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. 
Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it, too. Why would she... Okay, so let's 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 pull this apart. One, there's no reason why she would know about it as well. If he's using her to watch on you guys. Two, a bunch of people knew about it. A lot of them were too scared to say anything because they were being hushed up. So why should this one person be any different than all the others? This does not work. Nijima Senpai knew? Cat fight. I'm guessing. Knowing this game might actually be a thing. What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? Because I'm an asshole. It was all for your sake. Yeah, what I said, asshole. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. Like your face. It appears there are students at Shuchin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Now, one of them was this, wasn't it? Uh, request. The student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. But this... this doesn't help me in my goals! Why would I help the children? Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Oh, holy crap, I was completely wrong. <laughs> he does give a shit. <laughs> now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. No, no, I... <laughs> Well played, game. Well played. And fuck you. <laughs> oh, oh, Hyper Viper Zero. Thanks for the follow and welcome to the core. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and how you found our lovely channel. But back to fuck you, game. <laughs> Thanks for tricking me into thinking I was wrong, making me doubt myself. Name's James. Nice to meet you. From MTG. Oh god, I know I should know this. Uh, unfortunately we don't do much MTG. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, yes. I'm not gonna say any more details. Welcome, dude. Thanks for coming by. Uh. <laughs> this game just put me through another freaking... Uh. So, we've gone right back around to him being a piece of shit. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Yeah, like, it's not he's the prince. It's not like he's the principal or anything. Sir? See his plaque right there says Chinstable. Are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. For me. It works out perfectly for me. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. Well, if you're so smart, maybe you should lead the investigation? If you pursue this criminal issue, Kinda. you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd. So... Let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? Do you? <laughs> I... No, 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 no. Uh, red eyes. Just, 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 just look him in the face and go, Are you? The answer is, are you? Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. Oh, motherfucker pulled out the sister card. Okay, so that's 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 a good way to get some backstory for this character. So he's an asshole and an asshole. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. Just like you, you just, it's okay. You're such a disappointment as a principal. It's such a low bar. She's not gonna get that. She's not gonna miss that. This is fucking horrible. I hope he's one of the villains we fuck up. 
That's kind of disgusting. Like he's literally guilt tripping her into doing his job. He's a teacher. So what kind of person would be a bigger target than Madarame? Huh. I wonder. I guess it'd have to be someone who's the talk of the town. That's quite a vague prerequisite. But we don't have any more specific ideas. An evil overlord. Yeah, NL NLG is, uh, is kind of becoming a uh, classic ideal now, unfortunately. I think it's been, what, three, four years? Maybe longer since that shop. Dude, this ain't, video this ain't some kind of video game. Brick, currently the smartest person in their universe. Gotten so close to the truth yet so far. Either way, we'll need a lead before we can begin anything. Just have to look for that as we go. There was only a if only there was a big target just laying around for us. Hey. Hey, tomorrow's field trip is on the TV station, isn't it? Maybe our next target will be a celebrity. Health changes. Hi there. Have, have there been any changes to your health? I want to check you out just in case. Okay, I'm I'm honestly curious to know. Like, I'm actually legitimately curious to know. Was this intentional dialogue to make her the flirty character, or is this is this something the dubs the dub people did as a joke, or was this accident? Brick knocking on the fourth wall there. <laughs> now I'm picturing a. No, 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 no. I was like, I, I like objective prints. Now I'm picturing a wall of bricks. It's like, no, no, no. I like the idea of like the fourth wall shattering and a brick going through it. <laughs> it just, just has what's his actual name written on the brick. I don't have any patience. Could you stop by the clinic? Side later. Oh no, we got a date with pantsless. Wanted, damn it! I wanted to go to Memento, to Mementos Freshness today. Ah, uh, but it's a date. I don't know how easy or hard these are to get. Do you have time today? I was thinking I need to make good on our deal. No time like the present, right? You can start hammering those basics into you anytime. Ah, oh, so are you going to spend some time with the uh, pantsless? See what's the bond like? like yeah, no, we got to do this. It's on level one. Yeah, let's let's go on a date with Pantsless. Thank you. Then how about we meet in uh, Ikoshira Park? Oh, sorry. I never knew when this phone is actually working. Anyways, Shiro Park. Then I'll see you there. Was that just them playing it? She was typing while we were responding. It's actually a cool idea. I think that's like, good. Not bad, Stickun. Stick Senpai- sorry, Stick Senpai in this case. Not bad, Stick Senpai. You're pretty flexible, and you catch on so fast. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. My body's aching just from mimicking her poses. It's all about harmony between the internal and the external. Uh, oblique muscles, I can't get enough of it. I butchered that so badly. We're just getting started. Go easy on me. Um. I thought I was. The coach's training is ten times harder than this, after all. Well, I'll keep supporting you, so we'll keep at it together. Good effort. I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort, Senpai. And, um, I'd like to continue with our training, but I'm actually not doing so great at the moment. I'm not sure I could manage anything too strenuous. Doing okay? Oh, I'm not sick or anything physically. I'm doing perfectly fine. I was thinking... Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like... I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but... She told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to... 
think about who I really am. Your chakras aren't aligned. Problem solved. Align your chakras! That is not to stop doing gymnastics, just... She wants me to take a break. Let's see. I've never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So, um... I want you to help me, Stick Senpai. You know... Even if we're not doing gymnastics, will you still keep going out for me? Uh... I... See, I don't like the, the question mark. If this was just, you mean romantically, not, uh, romantically? I, I don't have enough of the emotional inflection to understand if any of these two... No problem. Thank you so really? much. Really? Really? Thank you so much. I've heard my coach praise me. She says, Pantsless, great, greatest, Pantsless' greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got tall off for one, and there were some other complications. I can't move, uh, I can't move how I want anymore. Like, it's not even my own body. I kind of fell into a depression. It got pretty bad. But... But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. See, our character's secret is just don't give a shit. <laughs> if I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Wait, isn't this the character we saw pantsless in like the first scene of the game? Leave it to me. Yes. Great, thank you. <laughs> You're a strange one, Senpai. Didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. Do we not get... Oh, there we go. Tumbling allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies in palace. All right. Your faith confident has increased to rank 2. Oh, faith. Now I get why that's called faith. Because she has faith in you. Or she wants to have faith in what you're like. Blah, 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 something, something. Mind palace, palace, something, something. Pantsless taught you tumbling. After lessons to you, Juan can now use tumbling. If a shadow attacks your head, uh, attacks your head in a palace, you will be able to avoid being surrounded by enemies and turn the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. That's actually kind of good because the few times I've messed up not seeing someone where they're meant to be and just like, wait, what are you bang punch in the face? Oh, excuse me. I should get going. I have a meeting with my coach. Home, wait, then. didn't she just say she had to take a break from this? I need to get going for today, but I'll make sure you don't regret this. Thanks to pantsless training, I feel like my stamina's increased. All right. Oh, that's cool. That's actually helpful. All right. Can we go to Mementos as the evening thing? I'm assuming no. Oh, that's right. I have to not fuck up the phone call as well. Thank you very much for joining me today, Stick Senpai. Are you feeling sore after all that? You placed stress on muscles that you don't use very often. Please remember to massage them before you sleep. But I'm glad you accepted my request. I was so relieved I suddenly got really hungry and then my stomach wouldn't stop growling in, the, in my meeting. You did eat eventually, right? Yes, an extra large bo uh, beef bowl with a soft boiled egg with pork soup and salad on the side. Maybe it was just hallucinating that. It would have been nice to have a big meal like that. Wait, what? <laughs> but since you helped me out with it, I figured I should maintain my phys physical shape. This... Okay, okay, this doesn't feel... Hope you can help me next time, Senpai. I'll be reaching out again soon. Well then, I'll talk to you soon. Wait, we didn't get any bonuses for that? Huh. I thought that was the right... I thought that was the right uh, response. Ah, you're back. Bing. You know we're going to that TV station tomorrow, yeah? I'm thinking we might find the next target there. Oh, that's right. We're always hearing goss uh, gossip about the darker side of celebrities. You're absolutely right. With that much money, we've probably got their finger in all sorts of dirty business. 
Huh. That phrasing has quite the immoral ring to it. Dude, you're always reacting to the weirdest stuff. Anyways, we've got to observe a living record of a show, right? We get to observe a live recording of a show, right? Oh, maybe we're going to be on TV. Well, just just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearances will be for like two seconds. Huh. Try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner attention, okay? Alright. So, I think I go to Shibuya. Central Street. Because we enter it from the, um, the top, don't we? Which is not here. Station Square. Okay, Station Square is where I need to remember it. It's here we enter Mementos, isn't it? Wait, how do I enter Mementos? Uh... Shano told me about Terminal Field Student at Kosei. We have name, let's meet the hideout. Oh, okay, I have to go to the hideout for my mental stuff. Which is... Wait, I think it's this one, actually. At Pose Masquerade. In mind. Okay, maybe it's not here. Where was it again? Okay. Huh. Where was it? Let's go to the square again and see if I can work some Wait, hold on. There was something there, wasn't there? Many of you suffer greatly from this distorted world of disparity. Please know that you can find direct you can direct your criticism and outrage at me. I, whatever, will someday find a way to address your concerns in something. You think you get there from the hideout with the team? Yeah, I'm trying to find the hideout now, but yeah. If you're listening quite attentively, are you uh, interested in politics? I am interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Please, I'm so old. Huh, I could use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped by here one to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, that'll be all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. That old man's speech was impressive. The kind of talk might be useful for negotiating in the metaverse. But I guess he's looking for someone with more experience. If you could just show him your dedication. Wait. He said he's going to the beef ball shop, right? I bet he's talking about the one on Central Street. What if you worked part-time at the beef ball shop? Show him today's youth can do. Look, I know it's a stretch, but a true phantom thief can let an opportunity like this slip by. Alright, I need to remember what the beef ball shop gives me, though. But now I'm trying to find where out Because I think our hideout is, like, literally one of the things overlooking here. I'm looking for stairs up. This is... I honestly would have expected that our, uh... Our, what's it called? The hideout would be... Oh, way up, way up. There's a way up. No, that's a way down. Way up is that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, I would have thought that the hideout would be... Oh, no, this is going to take me to literally where I just was. That's a train line. No, no, no! Oh, there it is. I was correct. I forgot to look behind the wall. Man. If you're trying to go into the metaverse during the day when you have plenty of time. Okay, so we can't do it at night. Fair enough. Alright. Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, 
Ginza Line Gate. Hmm. Uh, let's go home and watch a movie. If not, all right, we'll go home, watch a movie, and then replace the movie. See if we can re-get. There's a card here. There's a card here. All right, let's check out the map again. Gun shop. All right, let's go see what's at the gun shop. Wait. Oh, I didn't warp there. Uh, that V is, yes, the twins. No, it needs to be afternoon. I assume that. I just wanted to find where it was. Hey, dude. <laughs> you again. So what are you here for? To make a purchase. It's about the only thing I can sell to a kid. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, anything better? Oh. That's what you're choosing. Done. Like it. Equip. But oh, wait, no. Did I sell it? No. Did I sell it? Wait. What? I, what just happened? All right. Which one? Oh, sell my old one. Okay. Mm, yep, that one. Grab that. that. Equip. Uh, yes, yeah, sell the old one. Okay, cool. I'm okay with doing this. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any downside to selling them. Wait, wait. Did I do it? Hold on. Okay. So that's worse. Okay. That's better. That's what you're choosing. You better not use it to pull a prank. Yeah, why not? I hope this doesn't screw me in the long run. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Same rounds. I'm losing five to gain a shitload of attack. Mm, that one, don't break yeah. it, okay? Uh, I'm losing seven to gain. That's yep. What you're choosing. You better not use it to pull a prank. Hey, squash peas. Uh. Same rounds, losing four to gain nearly double. But yeah, definitely that one's fine that. It, okay. Same rounds, losing three to get. Yep. You're choosing. You like it? This is just a direct mm, up. Wait. One. Take your time. Yep, same rounds. I, I, I gotta keep looking at rounds. That. Okay, cool. Come again. If you're done here, go home. This ain't no place for a kid to be hanging around. Am I still meant to talk to him? Talk about the bag. Come on. Everything relies on guts. Hey Baba, how you doing? He lives. I was beginning to think you were Really? I was wait, was I late? No, I I was on time today. Oh, um, Saturdays and Sundays I stream my evening instead of my late afternoon. I I only do the afternoon stuff during the weekdays, especially when I either have morning or evening work. And by morning I mean, like, morning. Uh, alright, so who do we have a card to check out here? Now let's just go to back streets. We might have to come back here to replace the... the... DVD, but I can't remember if we finished it or not. Okay. Cafe, eh? Who do we have to talk to in the cafe? Oh. Uh, wait, is that just our, is that just our home, that one? Oh, our home has the cafe symbol. Uh, I'll talk to him in a second. Oh. Receding hairline is so needy. Uh, let's see if we need to replace the DVD. Oh. 
Oh, to, oops. I was... Yeah, we're doing this now. What the hell are you doing here? Don't tell me you busted into prison to rescue me. Join us, you're right. Come on, let's get you out of here. The story about a man who went to prison for his el older brother, but now he's trying to escape. Piece of cake. I can I can make lockpicks so easily from prison would be a piece of... Uh, I can make lockpicking... Lockpicks... So escaping from prison would be a piece of cake. <laughs> Tag means you saw sorts of skills to escape from prison. Maybe you can learn a thing or two with, fr about proficiency from watching this mm. drama. But yeah, how you been, Bubba? I assume this is a more reasonable time. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, chat, I need you to talk to me. Someone send me one message. Because, uh... Okay, cool. It doesn't look like all my internet screwed up. Oh, why did... What's going on with this week? Am I not allowed to stream this week? I Ira, best deck. Pingus. Dinosaur. Hey, Vivid Imagination, how are you doing? Yeah, okay. Just looks like one thing internet collapsed. Not my entire... Um, yeah, my area's going through... Uh, some internet issues, or at least my provider in my area, I should say. Uh, uh, but it's not fixing itself. But yeah, how, how are you doing, Vivid? Welcome, man. I've seen you stream, but like Baba, it's like 6 a.m. in the morning, and I'm like, uh, I got work or I want to sleep. Because I rarely get to either sleep at 6 a.m. if I have work. <laughs> It's, it's really weird because the warehouse we have doesn't have lights in the warehouse room, so it's like you, you have to do stuff in the dark even though we're meant to be there early in the morning. Okay, cool. Looks like everything's back to normal. Also, Bubba, I need context on that Pingus comment. Okay, cool. Oh, Bubba! Also, I found out apparently Anne is an option to date in this game. She's just, like, the hardest one that you can't screw up at all or something. Good, good. Yeah. No, oh, no, as long as you're doing it and having fun. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. Because money. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. Okay. I want to know what teenager doesn't fucking know that. To sum things up. Ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. I still hope he gets away with wearing that shirt. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that. Chill, man. Yeah, but I thought you... Was it you or someone told me that you thought the one of the main characters can't be... Or it was Anne that you can't date, but apparently... Apparently maid teacher is allowed to be or something. I'm still worried about opening that can of worms, but reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. I don't like any of what she just said. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. Oh, okay, cool. Because that was one of the things my friend wasn't sure about. Is like he doesn't know if they were. Well, Bricks our pet and Yusuke. Yeah, Yusuke's all right. How do I see my chat? I have a second screen. I literally have a second screen or uh, I have another laptop or something open to my channel. I should really create a dummy account for that instead of just being off a, a guest one. But I have another screen showing it, which I think is really hard for you because you do like your live stuff and you're walking around. So that's I don't think that's going to help with your uh, your real life streams. You could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more obvious? I'm so sleepy. I'm always so sleepy. Wow. He's not even listening to what I said. I didn't mean that to insult her. The parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. Wait, hold on. I was saying. 
I was saying I'm so sleepy to her, not ignoring her pretending to be asleep. That's a trick, game. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I don't know. So this really co cute comic of Yusuke drawing this really detailed art of Joker and then Joker shows up to his art and it's simply doodle of Yusuke doing I like art and Yusuke gets all watery eyed and says I do like art. Okay, that is kind of cool, but uh, I, I, I think I need to see more of Yusuke because right now he just feels like Spock to me. I swear like when I do his voice, I try and do like close to my Spock imitation. Mm -hmm. Asshole detected. Termination beginning. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Also, Rigi already had has hair that that's against school rules. So why does he care if he's wearing a shirt? <laughs> To be honest, that's kind of the hair I had. Like, my hair's a bit of a mess, and I just gave up trying to comb it years ago. Who's that jerk think he is? Like, I've actually like, combed it down, step outside, and just feel like my hair just go poof and just spike back up. Or curl back up, depending on the length. Hey there. You want to be on TV? And it begins. Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, Vivid, that that advice didn't help you. Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Okay, H how, how the hell does not the hint hint, I'm on a school trip, e.g. I'm in school, not fucking work? Welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. That face, I'm kind of surprised he's batting that high. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? No. I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. In Japan, students literally need notes from their parents slash photos of their parents to prove they don't have dyed hair. If they have anything but black or brown hair. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare for anyone. In oh, I guess actually if it's if they're trying to keep it Alright, that's not as bad as I was thinking, because I was thinking about how in, um, the US, most, uh, ethnic groups have to put or force their hair to look more like white culture, so I'm like, but it's like, no, it's based on your genetics, so they obviously will let you do whatever base it is based on whatever your parents are. Hair and uh, dyed hair and makeup are super against the rules. Is that why as soon as, like, people leave high school, like, you see everyone just, like, going nuts with their hairstyles? Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. Oh, is Brick's hair dark? That's right, Brick's hair's dyed, isn't it? I actually thought it was a natural blonde. I didn't actually put that together till now. But, okay, so he's dyed his hair and he's wearing that shirt. Okay. Also, he's wearing that- he's got that hair he's wearing that shirt. <laughs> Morgana, I think that ship has sailed. Like, sailed and crashed into a lake. Before. Please don't cause any trouble, okay? Yeah, listen to the maid, I mean teacher. Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. I like that as soon as I realized his hair's died, all the hair dye jokes come in. <laughs> Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. This feels like a trap. This feels like we're never seen from again. Damn it. This sucks. Oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. But it was to no avail. Their cableness was so grand. I'm so pissed off. You're always pissed off. It's your only quality, and I kind of like it. Our 
Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? Vietnam, if your hair is naturally brown, they make you dye it black. Oh, really? Okay, that's... Yeah, that's what I was imagining when I first read Bubba's thing. Is that for any other color as well? Like, is that... Oh, okay, we'll do that thing. But yeah, uh, is that only for brown hair or is it for any other than black? Wait, ho oh, you're going back to Hope. Not feeling lovey-dovey anymore? In fearful day, in raging night, with strong hearts full, our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars, for hope burns bright. All will be well. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. I've just been happy that we've had uh, fear, fear, avarice, and uh, rage for the last uh, last weekend as well a bit. Because like I said, I like to do different voices for each one, or I try to do slight variations. Most common color other than black is brown. Okay. Is there a reason for that, or is it just, uh, keep everyone sort of looking samey? Okay. I know you're always incredibly excited when I'm streaming, but is there another reason? This is bullshit. Go into oh, the congrats! Oh, that's fantastic, Bubba. I'm so glad. I know it's been hard. My... Just just to give you a heads up, my father's been in a similar situation with my stepmom. They're in different countries, and it's been a year and a half now. But I'm really glad that's happening, and I'm really glad that you're getting to do it. Congrats, like, honestly. It's just about conformity. Yeah, okay. I remember back in the late primary days, I tried bleaching my hair blonde because Super Saiyan, but it wasn't strong enough, and I was left with red. Oh, that's awesome, Baba. I'm so happy. L l l let me know either on stream or private message me what how it goes, please. That just that's awesome. Yeah, uh I I wanted to change my hair color once, objected, and I was told because I have naturally jet black, I'm going to have to like bleach it like 3 times before I can put any color in, and I'm like, "Eh, black is one of my favorite colors, so I'm not too fast. I just wanted to do a change for once." Down, will you? Hey. I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Okay, what do they make you do? Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too. No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> Says the guy with the no more rules shirt. This is this is hilarious. To a more normal sleep schedule for. So me and him are on the same sleep pattern, so the both of us will probably turn up more. That'd be good. Just, you know, look after yourselves, that's the big thing. Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, oh is this a new area? Place? I want to go to that huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? Okay. The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. I don't think you would fit on any of the ride. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The cat might die. You'll fit on all the rides. Ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Oh god. The, okay, you know what? All my jokes about cutting it, cutting the cat's junk off with a butter knife, that was more scathing than anything I could have said. I'd like cats can get on anyways. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Really? Yeet, out a window, please. Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. Or die. I mean, no, no, no. You'll be fine. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. 
Are you students of Shujin Academy? Okay, okay. This character screams to me, I want to sell you something. Before I move on, this character screams to me, I want to sell you something, and I don't know why. Is it the suit? Is it the bag? Is it the very, very creepy gloves? I don't know. Let's find out what he's selling. Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Wait, what? <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. See, I want to make a joke to give him a nickname, but all I can think of is Goro from Mortal Kombat, so now I'm just imagining him with four arms like I'm a champ. He's a champ! Akechi? Okay, that also makes me feel... Oh, Sketchy! Sketchy, his name's Sketchy. I hope that was intentional. Filming? What? You a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Slick? Oh, is he one of the team? He only gets the ick if he's part of the team. Only the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh. My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Oh no, he's definitely sketchy. He was listening in on that whole thing. No matter. Well, <gasps> see you tomorrow. He heard the cat! He heard the cat! He heard the cat! The cat said something about pancakes. No one else did. Am I? Okay. I, I think... I'm fairly sure I'm correct here, but I'm not sure because I'm bad at this. The cat was the only one who talked about pancakes, right? said the thing what thing cat that guy's got to be some kind of startup entertainer or something he's never going to get popular with that kind of hair though i look at my own hair and start crying you are my favorite brick why did you hurt me so nah it's not that long though i need to shave it all Don't off get it. it's fine we'll see him again tomorrow anyways what they were bad at this <laughs> The delicious pancake line is a huge meme among percent. Oh, okay. My thi my thing is that uh, he heard the cat. Guess that means he'll be in the team at some point. But until then, no ick. Name for him. So he he's sketchy. He'll earn. He has to earn the slick. He's sketchy at the moment. Come on, let's get a dome town. Bro. I wonder if we can take teacher made there. I'm not- I'm not I'm not going to stop calling her teacher maid until the point is that it's not right. Sketchy to be known later as- date as Dick. We need to save Dick for- Oh, Dick's gonna be an interesting one. I'm seriously impressed- impressed by what? What did I do? Wait, impressed by what? Oh, I am a, oh, okay, so I was right. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. Oh, that's right, cat can be dick. Or dickless, I don't care. Between delicious pancakes and he said the thing. Yeah, I just saw it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm oddly good at picking up that small stuff. Because when he said pancakes or something, I'm like, wait, I thought they were telling us about the roller coaster. No one said pancakes except, oh, and that's where my brain sort of went, Wait, did someone else mention pancakes or just that? I didn't catch that myself and neither has literally ever anyone I've watched. Well, if that's a case, someone should clip that so it's permanently on my Twitch, please. Or I'll do it later if someone can remind me. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna puke for real. My stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. 
See, I'd be that one asshole in this situation. Dickless after the bottom life incident. Um, see, I'd be the person at this point where if I was in a group of friends and someone said that, I'd go, Oh, that's right, I need to go do my laundry tonight and watch them hurl. Wait, for real? What's for real? Dickless? Wait, we get to- Wait, do we actually get to castrate Morgana? Do we actually get to castrate the cat? Don't, don't, don't get my hopes up for this. Dude, it's not fair. Using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? For real is Ryuji's haha -ha funny woohoo line. Ah, oh, okay. Just memeing on the fact that Ryuji says for real every other sentence. Our brick is for real, man. Also, leave my pet alone. He's a good boy. I, I kind of just for the honor of this stream want to go buy a brick, get like fake blonde hair put on it, and like if I ever get a camera, I want it to be in like the background on a on a shelf or something. <laughs> He's a real brick. Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Damn it! You got me excited about. Uh, got me excited about castrating the cat. Well then. You're gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That Ryuji's. Th that's Ryuji's thing. Okay, you don't have a card above your head anymore, do you? Okay, so I gotta be careful. Those are. Oh no, it's still there. Uh, I want to eat a burger. I, I, yeah, I want to find how disappointed I'm going to be with this game as soon as possible. I want to rip, because if I don't do it now, we'll try and do the phone call mate thing now. I'm going to just not do it. Even though I know I need to do it because it's probably going to be some fucking platinum thing. Um... Like, I was almost willing to tank my platinum run of it, or any chance of platinum is just to be mean to the cat. But the fact that the cat we're going to get guaranteed... Max is. I don't care anymore. Thank you very much. Now then. I love that. Dun. Chug, chug, now. chug, 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 chug. Oh man. Yeah, I'm trying to get my guts up. Knowledge happens naturally. Proficiency, I. Yep. Will do stuff. <laughs> well, technically, I'm doing the, the freaking videotape the DVDs for proficiency. Wanna head back? I feel... Am I actually getting experience for them? Because I feel like I'm not going anywhere with that. Or is it just that it's visually not going to show me until I go up a level? Mr. Akechi's coming on! Wait, Mr.? <laughs> it's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. It just takes a while, doesn't show anything until you level up the stats. Alright. Also, we've got to be the three most oblivious people in the world if that's like some big celebrity. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Of course he's a detective. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> I love the name of that clip. I love the name of that clip. Red is an actual fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bob, I'm sorry. That that's made my day. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, so Dick makes even more sense for him. Oh, Dick, I get it now. Oh, okay, yeah, that works. When he he needs to earn Dick. Rather stupid that you need XP equivalent for those stats, but the game doesn't show you how much. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi Kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Yeah, actually, that's bad. Being a private eye, being popular is actually bad for you half the time. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Oh, let me guess. 
He's also going to be investigating us, just like Red Eyes, and he's going to bump into the metaverse while tracking us like Anne did. Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Okay, so now I'm kind of curious. Did he bump into us in the hall because he's actually onto us? Or was that coincidence? Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. Okay, this 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 guy has uh, this guy thinks he has bigger pants than he has. <clears throat> but hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Yep, there it is. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. Yeah, but they're judging him from the point of standpoint of the victims with proven evidence. Yeah, well, apparently we've discovered I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Yeah, but if they've kind of got you by the, the neck, you gotta defend yourself. You're you doing this point. without context. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. Okay, A, he's underage. B, tone it down. <laughs> I'll forcefully change your teeth. <laughs> I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. See, I kind of got the like I kind of got the hint there that she's like, let's ask these students who are here from school, uh, who are the same age as him, and she just elbows the uh, the guy in the ribs about this. <laughs> First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. No, don't click no, you moron. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Oh no, she's going straight for brick. <laughs> Alright, let's try asking this student here. Why? I'm unassuming and I've got the... Don't! Leave me alone! Speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Ruji every five seconds. Did you know that we're the Phantom? Yeah, yeah, I hate that so much. I want to punch him. Oh, I... No! Why are they all dumb options? Why are they all dumb options? Why are they all dumb options? See, this... That's what I'm leaning towards, honestly. They do more than cop cops. But I hate that there's no incognito option. Like, we're meant to be the smart one. Or whatever our intelligence knowledge rating is. <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, akechi -kun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. See, okay. This is where I'm going to call some bullshit, as I normally do. So, um, Sketchy is meant to be investigating... Well, I realize the cops are fucking useless <laughs> is the smart option. Yeah. So here's the thing. I don't, I think Sketchy is being a bit of a, a, a smart ass here. And I don't know if I'm giving the character more credit. Because I'm going from the point of view of me investigating stuff. So 
if he's smart enough to know about the Madarama incident, he's smart enough to know about the um, Chinstable. If he knows about Goldmember, he knows about the uh, Prime Chinister, sorry. So he should know that these are students from the school that was saved from the uh, by the Phantom Thieves. Like, he's got to know that. Unless he's like the absolute worst private detective ever. And they're sort of playing him up as he's this up-and-coming genius star, which is a little odd, but... The adults in this universe are fucking dumb, and I'm, I, I swear he could pull out a cat toy and they'll think he's a genius. So, I don't know if he's actually using this to fish through the crowd for him. Or if that's just something the game didn't really put together. And again, go back to him pulling out a cat toy and all the adults going, A CAT TOY?! So, it's kind of hard to measure intelligence in the game when everyone's a fucking moron. <laughs> in that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. All right. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? You know what? I like this one because it's incognito, but I kind of also want to probe him back. Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well... This is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? Sketchy, how did you catch the cat burglar? I fluffed the pillow. Holy shit, he's so smart. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting from the adults here. That's literally the vibe I'm getting. The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. Oh, now he admits it's hypothetical. Before he was making the statement as if it was fact. Now he's backtracking. I mean, he's, and this is the one point where he's not technically wrong. Like, we are brainwashing these people. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. You're only now working that out? He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Yeah, because you're kind of you're kind of a fanboy to yourself right now, Brick. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? Yes. We can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Like, you know about the police? There was police investigation happening at your school for, um, Prime Chinister. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I really want an awkward urinal scene with him and Slick now. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. Damn it! I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. For offering a contradictory... To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Yep, cool. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Okay, so they set it, set it up because they wanted us to be uh, contrarians for this. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. Yeah, but you have the power of fluffing a pillow and cat toys. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. Yes, that's the point. <laughs> that's why I believe 
If a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Yes, because they're not meant to be a force of power. They're meant to be someone trying... They're just people doing good shit. Joker says... Joker says a cab. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Okay, this is really awkward. Usually I'm used to the new dudes always flirting with Anne, but alright, if he wants our number. Fine by me. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. Did... did... Did we literally just tie ourselves to someone investigating us? Uh, no, I'm not off the top of my head right now. I'm kind of seething in my own rage. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Yeah, he's fishing, and we just took the bait. Hook line. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I tend to use the ones that aren't as polite as that. But that being said, I do have a lot of friends who are in there who do try and do good, so... Unfortunately for I can't believe when it comes you evaded the police's network until today. So unfortunately for the cop situation, there's unfortunately a lot of good that gets besmirched by the overhanging bad. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am, and you're not believing me, woman. New vow. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. All right. Okay, so we've got someone else we have yes. to go on dates with. We should exchange contact info. This is this is so stupid. I know he's a dumb teenager, but this is so stupid. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Like I know it's good meta game, but in game this is the dumbest thing. A detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. Yeah, that's just dangerous because we're all idiots. Oh, sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? No, but Sketchy came and talked to me. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. I don't disagree with that, but I'm very much a believer in I don't like to target overarching groups. I try to avoid targeting groups, even if it's 90%. I want to go I want to go after the people, person, or entity directly. I try not to be talking overarching vagueness like that because it's just in my head kind of a-hole and it's happened to me, so I don't like doing it back. But I don't also disagree with that statement, Bubba. Come on, let's go. What a boring field trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. That sketchy bastard. Thinking about what he said, he's just pissing me off again. He clearly he tried to discredit everything we're doing. He just had to say it on live TV too. Don't be so sour. There are without a doubt people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroic, uh, the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I am living proof of that. Ah, oh, what a nice thing to oh, what a nice thing to say. Still, what was Sketchy Kun actually? What still? What? 
Still, was what Sketchy Corn said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why are you gonna bring that up now? I mean, it's, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are phantom thieves, Anne. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet I still decided that it was a necessary act. Uh, Kamishida too. We weren't gonna do shit to him th through any kind of normal methods. Yeah, I, I can't say that word, squash peas. Oh, when I start seeing... Again, don't disagree with your Baba. I just... Yeah, I just... Tired of me on my end being accused of stuff because all people of X skin color are like this. And I, just as a personal thing, try and take the high road and not do that back to anyone just because... I know what it's feel like on the other side of that. I know it's wrong. So I'm not going to then do that again. But anyone who doesn't stop or speak up or fight is also complacent. I do, yeah, agree with that. Kind of just realize that it's so kind of my bad. Kind of my bad. Oh no, look, you guys can say it. I technically can't. That's true. That's true, Bubba. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a line on screen. That's true, but what do you think, uh, Stick? Are we being selfish? We're helping people. Like, that's all that matters. I guess I can't really think of any other way. Hmm, I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. Just you watch, Sketch. Someday you're gonna to you're going you're totally gonna see who was right. Okay, let's talk. Stop talking about this for now. That Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. God, I'm furious. You heard what Sketch Sketch said about Stick. You heard what Sketch said, right, Stick? Okay, how did you get? How did you watch that interview and not see us being asked the question? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves are criminals? We are. We are criminals. Phantom Thieves! As the administrator of the Phantom Officiato website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm gonna show Sketchy how many online- how many- uh, how people online really feel. Be gay, do crimes. Oh, I I've heard people who do crimes aren't the happiest people. Oh wait, you meant- ah. Shima, why are you like this? I'll change up the I'll change up the survey questions to I'll change up the survey questions tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he of all people getting angry about this? Cause we kind of saved his life and he's got a hero. Wait, what is it called a hero complex when you're in love with the hero, or is that a different thing? What's it called when you're like someone saves you? Cause we did save him from you know the Chinstable, uh, the Prime Chinister. So, I'm assuming that's why he sort of latched onto us like that, because we pulled him out of a bad spot, but I can't remember what that's actually called. Hero worship. Yeah, because he's suffering from hero worship. Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. No, we need to up stats. Uh, hero complex is when you're obsessed with being a hero and disregarding your own well-being. Okay. To quote Lex Luthor, no good comes from hero worship. See, I used to love when Lex Luthor was actually a bit more complicated than just egomaniac. I love the concept where Lex Luthor was very much, um... 
I'm not trying to kill Superman because I think Superman is a bad person. I don't want humanity to have any alien influences. I want us to evolve on our own. As long as Superman exists, we're going to use Superman as a crutch and not evolve as a species. I like that concept of Lex Luthor. Like Deku when he repeatedly shatters every bone in his body. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, I, it's hard because that kind of bravery is hard to not idolize or respect. But, yeah, like the first thing we're taught in any of my safety courses is check if the area is safe before you go to rescue the person or go to grab the person. Check everything. It doesn't matter if they're sitting there dying. Check that nothing's going to fall on you. Check that nothing's going to move. Check that it's safe. Check that there's no traps. you got to do all that slowly first before you go in to help anyone. That's incredible. Oh! Hmm. We leveled that up first before guts, and I've eaten so many burgers. All right. Okay. Well then. All right. I like when Lex accidentally age regressed himself and faked his own death to leave his entire fortune and company to his never before mentioned son. His own age. Yeah. Lex has had some cool stuff until I turned him into an egomaniac. Fan of these were the so the fan of these were the bad guys. Guess now that you mention it, I felt that way the whole time. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? It's really self-centered. Had a nod to the version of Lex with Luther's disguise to leave his house arrest in the Death of Superman movie. Oh yeah, yeah, the wig. Correction, you've almost eaten so many burgers. Did you catch any of that student detective on television yesterday? Ah, oh, on the talk show. Nice. It was simply dreadful. How could anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That child is a phony. They simply know uh, they simply know no way the Phantom there's simply no way that the Phantom Thieves exist. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're really amazing, and worse, that this detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. <sighs> That's fine! Anim Anonymity is our friend! Why are we punching them in the D? Or V? Or whatever. I'm so pumped! Yeah. Can't believe a high school moonlighting is a detective. He's just like the detective prince. He's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. Too cool. Wait, are these the same two people from last time? I had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch Sketchycon. I was so nervous. I was really working that uniform and without seeming like a snob. Okay, see, I found the opposite. I just felt a radiated snob, but I guess it's... I, I guess it depends where, where you're looking at him. You know, I was looking into the face. You were looking lower. He's a natural at public speaking. That is actually true. He is an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He has a tragic backstory. He wants his last high school memories to be capture to capture the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I hear his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. Oh, he doesn't have a tragic backstory. I will say that I love that he hates the media. It makes me believe that he doesn't do this for fame. People say he's so good that he made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular they're trying to air it again tonight. No, 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 I, I, I'm with you on that, Bubba. I love that. Man, the detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was there some kind of threat? Let's see. Yes. Do it then. Brick, the only reason we're not a threat is because you lower the bell curve of the team's intelligence. Could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Well, I apologize, you just upped the bell curve with that comment. Ow. Thank you. <laughs> You're being way too loud. Uh, the Bat Metal, as in the, th the, the rock songs based on, um, fuck, what's the band called? Deathstroke? Yeah, I've seen, uh, if you're talking about that, or are you talking about the actual, um, comic book event, Batman Metal? Who cares? 
Nobody's talking about this stuff anyways. Deathlock. Thank you. Death clock, sorry, there. Yep. Yeah. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. And the bell curve has dropped again, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. They're, it's the same band for all three things. It's... And I love that, I think in the third one, they actually appeared in the actual animation. They actually put the um, original band in. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? I love the little clip they did. I think it was between the second and third one of Batman reading comments to the first video of the first two videos. Actually, no, I think it's between one and two. They had the guy who does the voice for Batman doing an animation of him reading the comments. Give me some. Sorry, just ate the last one. Like a pro. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. Yeah, guys, you're making the cat the voice of reason. Stop making the cat the voice of reason. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. That's- yes, we can! That's the point of cops! But... what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? Isn't that illegal? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? You said before, we don't know nothing. Yeah, as we were yelling evidence out. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? Yes. My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. Okay, that, that kind of sounded creepier than it was intended to. Really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? Of course you are. Oh, that's right. Fight, fight her, beat her up. I'll hide your body in a second if you don't hold back. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm waiting for Anne to just slap the slapper. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? Your student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, no, no, no. You, you just press the Prime Chinister button. Do not press the Prime Chinister button. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! I myself... I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. No, there is! Keep shouting! Slap her! I'm usually against cat fights, but no, go for the throat! If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. You gotta be more dependable than... Some people I know. Okay, Brick... Brick ha is very, uh, a brick, but he has some freaking savage moments. <laughs> Just make sure you show up to your classes, alright? Yeah, that hit... Yeah, they got to her. You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. There we go. Hell yeah. It's about time. Don't agree with it, but I kind of like the fire. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. Kind of like that purple shirt on him. I actually really like that shirt. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. 
It's probably because of the catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. Bubba, keep it PG. Keep it PG, Bubba. <laughs> just saying that now. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Matches his sword sheath? Does it? I thought his sword sheath was a bit brighter purple than that. Tabletop sim. Temp yeah, temp -tem. Project Winter, Shadowverse, Dota. Well, do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Well, maybe you hardly play any of the other games as well, and it just got in there by default. Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, I have a comfy place to stay. I'm leaving it. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. <laughs> Is that meant to be a joke on uni and college dormitories? Because <laughs> I kind of agree. What are you going to do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, aunt's house. Dude. Dude, I've only got one knife and I'm not cleaning the blood after I castrate the cat if you're going to be like that as well. Alright, take care, Bubba. Hopefully see you later. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's going to happen. Impossible. Oh, you got rejected by a girl. How shocking. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we going to do about him? <sighs> Just sleep here. Yusuke is an important member of our team. I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Oh yeah, my parents kicked me out for saving this woman from being accosted. Did I not tell you guys? Not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe is only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? Oh, this is gonna end badly. We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. This is not gonna end well. Oh, no, no. Bold Spot's gonna see so Anne and then change his mind. Calling it here. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. <laughs> we have a floor. To you to convince the chief. Nope, I'm leaving that to Anne. <sighs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. Okay, I was about because I kind of like this. I kind of like this layout. I like this uh, calf. Needs to be more of a bar, but uh, fair enough. Why it isn't? People refer to that as retro. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. See, I feel the canvas, the cover on the canvas is more the purple of the sword to me, but I could be wrong. Sit down. This rant will be on the house. You're helping though. It's delicious. He knows how to do two things. Make coffee and be a misogynist. And there's only an underage girl in the room. So, make coffee it is. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. 
<laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. Not a coffee person, are you, Brick? Ah, it's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. <sighs> it's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... Underage, I'm yes. <laughs> God damn it, please don't do this rec receding hairline. I'm giving you more credit already as it is. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. Quick, hide the stat. What, the whole room? Oh, dude, stop. I can see your hair falling out as as you're saying each sentence. You got a boyfriend? <sighs> nope, never have either. Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Go on. Oh right, thank you for the coffee. Sheesh, they had to leave the Mona bag down here. Wow. <laughs> Sweet girl. I, I don't know if just because he's, how creepy I think he is, this is coming out more creepy than it actually is, or I don't know if he's legitimately trying to be a wingman and get information for um, for our character. Like, this could go both ways, but I don't want to give him any more credit than he deserves. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. Seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's actually a lot cleaner than it was. Cleaner than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Is Ryuji the rich kid of the group? <laughs> oh my god, is Brick the rich kid of the group? I have a clean house with a carpet, and my bed doesn't smell of all weird stains, and there's not dust mites everywhere. Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Yeah. What about the site? Been looking. Hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this. What the? Is that someone's stomach? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh god, Brick is the rich kid of the group. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So, how about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? Okay, let's burn this place to the ground. I have no problems with this. That sounds great. A 
I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. Dude, you're poor. Shut up. Just have the free meal. So, what do you say? What? <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash. Bingo. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. This is actually kind of sweet. I kind of like this. grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Okay. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. As you should be. Food always tastes better with friends. Her Not name wrong. Is Han, right? She's a nice girl. Okay, so take your bets now. Perv or wingman? She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Dude, I work for you. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, you try looking around. You found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? To be honest, I'm surprised anyone invented fire in this universe. Hey, now, <gasps> it's her daughter! Did I- Did we know this beforehand? It's her daughter! Oh, wow! I- No, it's her older sister! That's right! When, um, What's-His-Face was saying your sister would have worked it out. It's the older sister. Oh, I did not even put this together. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. Do they red eyes as well? Oh shit, I think you're right, yeah. But the hair <laughs> color difference is kind of, uh... Cool. No, no, I, I didn't realize that. That's, this is actually a pretty cool touch. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. <laughs> Wait till she's interrogating, um, Stick Kun. Then she'll have all the sodium she ha needs. Do I seem so? But, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. So this is really weird, because usually PIs or detectives work independently because of the restrictions of the law, and they're trying to find ways of doing it out- not outside, but through different avenues. So if he truly believed that, he would stop being a private eye and, like, register for the police force immediately. More importantly, you should never forcefully change- I'm not saying PIs do stuff like Shady or anything like that, which is kind of a big, uh, negative impression, but they do try and do stuff- differently because they believe that sometimes the avenues that cops have is restricted more than uh safe is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart depending on the means yes he's absolutely right even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes why the sudden interest it's how do you, how do you 
you not know she goes to the same school as the Prime Chinister? Alright, take care, uh, Squash Peas. Hope you feel better tomorrow. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. Well, she would if the principal wasn't an asshole. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. Now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? <laughs> that memory of Brick just was... That was like, I know they're trying to do it so, it's, so you can tell it's a memory, not something, but that was very awkward echoing. Delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. Enough! I got. Chop with the chopsticks. Cut it off with the chopsticks. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. Oh, it's his bed now. It's. It's, um, Flick's bed, so. Is. Oh, you. F What's wrong, Yusuke? Were they. Were they perving on her? I know they're dumb teenagers, but ah, oh, guys. We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge, or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already. It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know on? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Is someone going to actually ask us how we got into this situation? Are we actually going to give someone context? At this point, it's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then. It's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I can make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. Oh, I freaking hate this so much, Brick. Oh, man, that's actually... See, that's what happened. That's... Oh, that's fucking horrible. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Yeah, no one's asked. Thank you all. Great friends. Damn brat. <gasps> it is cue ball from the tower. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. 
just did as I was told. His voice is really familiar. I know the voice actor. I just can't think of the name. Who do you think I am? Oh, I know this voice actor. No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? What? Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. That sounds shifty, because normally just to it does me off. does uh, Japan not have that the person, like the victim, has to actually appear in court for it to count? God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You don't have his name. That's pretty clever. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. Don't bond with me, cat. Please don't. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! But they can't expunge it if the person confesses. This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. How do you think they got their power? Can't we fix this, though? Like, that's the no point. Even know. Oh, well, while I was away, I stopped in to say hi. Uh, yeah. Two Notion, creator of Minecraft. And I was like, who? Miku is the person who... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, here's the point. Anyone in power to change the law isn't going to change the law because the corrupted law is what gave them their power. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. Keith Silverstein, mean. <sighs> Familiar, but just terrible with names. Is that the voice actor for, um, Bolt, the bald guy? You know, do you know the joke either, Ed? No, not really. I'm pretty sheltered, I guess. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. Okay. You know what? This is gonna kill me. I'm actually gonna pause because I'm actually curious because his voice sounds uber familiar to me. Like I've heard him like I've heard that voice in a bunch of stuff. So I actually want to see what else they've done, because yeah, I'm sitting there going, I know this voice. I know this voice. Oh, okay. So, he's in Miraculous, which I've seen a few of. He's in Attack on Titan. Okay. Uh, Transformers War for Cybertron. He's Jetfire. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, alright. That's already three things. Uh, he's in Pokemon Twilight Wing. It's Chairman Rose! Okay, yep, yep. I've... 
that's why the voice actor sounds uh, sounds so familiar. Okay, he's in One Punch Man as the sea Deep Sea King. He's One Punch Man's Deep Sea King. That's why I think that's the voice he used for Deep Sea King. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've seen this guy in a bunch of stuff. All right, cool. Like that voice. Like he just was so familiar. Cause Notch is a uh, colossal piece of shit. So we say that the Hatsune Miku created Minecraft instead. Ah, oh, okay. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Punching adults, oh, I guess. Sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Oh, we're gonna have a time loop episode. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. It's not your fault you're a cat. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Just a cat. They end up just being a cat. Hm. We'll see about that. Uh, basically, Notch is a colossal piece of shit. We say, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. What's? Oh, I have to allow. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't realize that some stuff gets moderated. I need to be careful with that. I'm like, wait, why am I seeing to? Why? It's like, why am I getting a message from Twi uh, Twitch? What am I doing? What's going on? Wait, why? I don't get why that's a thing. You mean every other day? I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. It's because Anne's there. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be alright with you as our leader. Yeah, it, I, I don't get it. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Did you know that International Men's Day is... Google twice as much as International Women's Day than around Inten Oh, wow. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Says the guy was just perving up her dress. What kind of nickname is that? Okay, cool. If Objective Prince found something fun for Baba, that would be good. Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? Wait. It... Hold on. You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Why... Why would you invite her, like... Can they talk to each other through the men and women side? Damn it. A 
need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Wow. That's all I'm saying for that. Wow. And uh oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. Han's missing out. It's a bit hot though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. <sighs> I knew this was gonna happen. But no amount of preparation can... Let's do this. Ah, oh, th that's not what I meant. I know what you meant. I'm trying to stop this. I often make the dark joke around. Hey, Goth. Oh, I, I, like, I get it why you do that, but, blah, blah, but, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like I said, I tend to try and do the, not often, but go high when they go low thing, but I guess that's just what's better for me. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? I'd assume, objected, it might have something to do with Movember. I don't know. I could be just guessing. Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? Yes. I was an idiot for asking. It's alright, Brick. We're used to it. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm. Still... Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh... I'll contact everyone. Hug the old man is like, What, Sonny? You want more heat? Yeah, me too. Okay. On that note, we're going to take a quick break while I refill my bottle of water and collect my sanity because I kind of don't like what this is about to give us. <laughs> 